look as they're ordering off uh, like a push carts here in New York City. Oh, what are you guys ordering? I'm getting chicken kebabs. In shish kebabs. Just one kebab, not kebabs. <laughs> and uh, Lucas, what'd you get? Chili cheesesteak. All right, you guys, you see that logo up there? Yeah, Manoa Vata. It's uh, a Manoa Vata. It's on. Wait, what do you think it stands for? Vanilla latte. I mean, what kind of a clothing store makes vanilla latte? Vanilla latte. It's Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Louis Vuitton. Come on, let's go. Look, look. Here, look. Look at this. Louis Vuitton on air. You see any vanilla lattes in there? Yeah. Yeah. Furling line got jammed on the drum, so I'm just trying to clear it up so that we're able to either completely furl the, the jib or uh, reef it. You know, it's Murphy's Law would say that right when we really need to put it away, we wouldn't be able to. So there's just too much of it that piled up on the top and it got jammed, so I'm just loosening it up. Arriving to Strangers Key in the Abaco Islands. I just wanted to point out, um, so right now we have the Genoa up. We didn't get a chance to put the uh, Code Zero up. Today would have actually been a better day to fly the Code Zero, which is a light wind sail. Uh, the Genoa needs, it's a heavier uh, sail material, so it needs stronger winds. Right now we've got nine and a half knots of wind and we're doing 4.6 knots. The sea state's really comfortable, so it's a, it's a nice comfortable sail and we're already at our um, our destination. Today was a short uh, sail, but uh, I wanted to point out that our friends uh, on Gonzo are actually flying their spinnaker, and um, there's a big difference. You know, they're doing uh, seven knots, right? Seven point nine. So he's doing almost eight knots. So we have the same type of props. This is where just everything kind of gets dialed in. Um, identical same boats. We both have max props, which means that instead of running the props in this position as, they're, as the engines are on, they feather so they become blade knife, like knife blades going through the water. So we eliminate all the drag from the props. And then really it comes up to what kind of uh, sail configurations you have. That obviously uh, for this downwind sailing is pretty spectacular. I mean, he's doing almost eight knots in, uh, you know, like 11 knots of wind. So that's uh, amazing. Where we are doing like five. So it's not bad. I would say it's pretty respectable uh, with the sail that we have up. We would probably be doing a little better with our code zero up. So we'll get that rigged now that we're back in the Bahamas and we'll have some light wind uh, sailing days. So. Anyway, just pointing that out that we're getting our butts kicked. And uh, time to get ready to anchor. Alright, let's turn in.
test. Uh, there is not much wind. As you can see, the sea stays pretty flat today. Uh, we're looking at about eight to nine knots of wind. So we're gonna try the code zero. Winds are at 120 degrees off the port side. So let's unfurl this baby and see what kind of uh, kind of speeds we're able to get. I mean, our goal here is to see well, one, obviously, can we sail <laughs> in this kind of wind? But two, you know, you want to try to conserve fuel, hours on your engines, all those things. And the real joy of flat sea state conditions like this is that if your head sail can propel the boat forward, then it'll be a really nice, quiet sail. And we have all day. It is 8.17, and uh, our anchorage is 21 miles away. So if the winds die or something, we'll just furl this thing up and put an engine on and puts down the rest of the way. So let's give it a try. So the verdict is that with six knots of wind, we're able to maintain just short of four knots, roughly four knots of uh, boat speed. So that's not bad. Um, it would be nice if we had eight to 10 knots of wind and we'd be upwards of six knots. Yeah, we're doing more than half the wind speed. When you're doing a downwind sail, it's hard to motor sail because you could potentially outrun the wind. So mm. right now we have 5.1 knots of wind. If I start an engine, put it in gear and start going, yes, we will start moving faster than the 3.2 knots we're doing right now, but then the code zero is gonna collapse because we're stealing the wind. You know, The wind is coming from behind the boat, you're running away from the wind, which means the sail is just not gonna have enough wind and it's gonna, um, well, it won't have any purpose to be up. So the real beauty is that we're sailing and anytime you're sailing, the engines are off and all you hear is the gentle lapping of the water against the boat or behind us at the transom. So this is what sailing is really the most enjoyable. It's just so peaceful and so nice. And we're traveling for nothing. Zero money spent right now as the wind is propelling us forward to our new destination which is 21 miles away and at this speed, we'll be there by midnight. <laughs> <laughs>